Hello again everybody and uh, in this I'm gonna be teaching you how to be a uh, EMT where does it say that uh, some somewhere um, oh shit he's right he's right you know so uh, the reason I'm recording is actually because uh, I'm in this game with this amazing guy his name is Anthony Rigatoni and it is amazing I don't know how I'm holding a crowbar in my pocket but I am his name is Anthony Rigatoni hold on and he is amazing where is he no Anthony Rigatoni <laughs> oh, aren't you supposed to be lost in space? I found my way using the sun as a directional compass, just like in the war. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually pretty smart. Uh, down here the power went out. Uh, he said, could it be some sort of energy draining science thing? No, I think it is. The thrill of adventure. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to read this manual. <laughs> He's amazing. Oh my god. It's amazing, honestly, this guy. Anthony Rigatoni. Why? I love this fucking guy. It's amazing. He just says the funniest, stupidest shit all the time. <laughs> uh, give me a gun or a knife, I'll crawl through the vent, I'll find him. <laughs> oh man, the real that's the real reason I'm recording, is because I was, I'm was i in a game with Anthony Rigatoni. I can't get over that. At first I thought he was a griefer, because he came and it was just bothering me last round, because I was security, and uh... You know, turns out he's not a griefer, he's just fucking nuts. So, um, anyway, when you're the EMT, you start in here, you want to, uh, this chemical guy is going to be your best fucking friend. You want to ask him for his hand labeler and get a box of syringes. And then you want to load up on the three or four different kinds of uh, first aid kits. There's oxygen deprivation, toxin, advanced first aid, that's the one you want, and fire first aid. And for each one of these you want to ask him to make the best version of that medication. So I had him make Dermaline, which is good for, uh, well actually he made the Dermaline all by himself. Dermaline is good for fire, it's good for burns, that's why it's in my fire first aid kit. So you want to make sure you get some Dermaline off of them. You can get it in a pill or you can get it with a syringe. Um, yeah. Zeke is the... Uh, he's the chemist this round. And he is my very best friend for making all this stuff. So anyway, there's the fire first aid. Advanced first aid. You don't really have to touch anything in there. You've already got advanced trauma kits and advanced burn kits. Medical splints an auto injector. Every auto injector comes with uh, inoprolavine, inoprolavine, which is a uh, inoprolavine, I think is what it's called. I can't fucking pronounce that fucking word. But anyway, um, it's, yeah, inoprolavine. That is a, uh, a thing that that uh, stabilizes patients, so you want to have an opralavine and uh, auto injectors on you at all times when you're the EMT. Uh, my oxygen deprivation first aid kit I have hooked up completely full of Dexalin Plus. All five of these syringes are full of Dexalin Plus, which is uh, the better version of Dexalin, and it completely removes the need to breathe. So if somebody has a popped lung, you can inject them with Dexalin Plus, and they'll be, they'll be perfectly fine until you can fix them. It's a good thing we got this surgeon here, uh, Jack Sayek, because uh, EMTs cannot perform surgery. <laughs> I have no idea how to fucking perform surgery. 
But uh, my job is to stabilize patients. When somebody yells for medical, I stabilize the patient, grab a roller, or yeah, I grab a roller bed or a body bag, depending on the situation, run my ass out there, and uh, <laughs> oh my god, Anthony Rigatoni is going to build us a singularity. I can't wait. So uh, anyway, I showed you the fire first aid. Showed you the oh right. Toxin first aid. On this station, people often get drunk. So you want to fill up your toxin first aid kit with uh, antitoxins, which is basically for general bad toxin stuff, poisons, stuff like that. And then uh, ethyl redo redox resine. Whatever the fuck that really long fucking word there is at the bottom left, you want to load up syringes full of that. And then uh, load those and antitoxins into your antitoxin first aid kit. The reason I uh, I have all these first aid kits, honestly, is because I'm EMT. But the uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the reason you don't really need anything else in there is because that's all that that's for. You just need antitoxin and uh, um, that big long word. So anyway, those are the four first aid kits that you're going to need. You can find them all here, or whatever your station look like, look like, looks like. You can find them in medicine storage. Hopefully, that's where you can find them in your storage area. And uh, you want to grab a hand labeler and label all of the uh, syringes. Because what I had him do is make bottles of uh, thermaline, uh, that long word. Uh, Dexilin Plus, and then I filled up syringes with it, and all it'll say is a syringe. It won't say anything else. So you'll have to use a hand labeler to uh, label each syringe that you fill up. <laughs> what the hell is this curved metal tool called again? After I s <laughs> Oh my god. It's beautiful, honestly. It's beautiful. It's a welder. <laughs> so basically what happened so far in the round is, from what I picked up, somebody broke into our vault and uh, didn't steal anything. Broke into the bridge and didn't steal anything. Or maybe they did steal something. I don't know. I think they stole the nuke, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to look up because uh, I need to find... Uh, the next best thing for antitoxin. Like, what's the next thing above antitoxin? So, hey, you can see all my tabs. So, let's read through. Um, no, no. That might be cool to have, but no, I don't really need that. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Uh, Dilavine. I think we have Dilavine, but I'm not sure. I think I asked him, or was it Dermavine? It was something with a D, I know that. Oh, it was this stuff. Powerful oxidizer that reacts with ethanol, neutralizes blood, alcohol in the bloodstream. Um, yeah, so you want to look at this page. When you're dealing with medical, always look at the chemistry guide. I did that in my last... Uh, tutorial showing off the psychologist uh, slash psychiatrist always go to the uh, base station 12 or whatever and look up chemistry you want to find all the medications if you're in medical because this stuff is really going to help you know what you're talking about uh, tramadol I was thinking about but no uh, nope radiation poisoning uh, oh, he just stuck that stuff in there. I might want to take some of that. Uh, oxycodone, Tylenol. Uh, so these are chemical compounds. You don't have to worry about those. So I believe we got the thing. I mean, we don't really have to look at anything else. On Spectrum, I might want to grab a Dilavine. I'm not sure. Uh, there we go. Uh, 
yep, virologist, oh yeah. It's a station, you mentally deficient moron. Step out of engineering. <sighs> oh sweet, we got an investigator. I think I spelled investigator wrong. I did. Find out who the fuck broke into the vault in the bridge. I'm an investigator. <laughs> Anthony Rigatoni is everything and anything. Zubari. Zubari is going to find out who broke into the vault and break their fucking hands. Break the thief bones. <laughs> if they have guns, count me out. I'm not leaving cargo. So basically all you want to do as the EMT... Wow, why is it lagging so much all of a sudden? My god, have you seen this? It's got no right to lag this much. Wow, my god. Stop your lagging. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. So, we're going to get some cup ramen. Some cup ramen. Some cup ramen. And drink it all up. All you gotta do is an EMT. Just keep your yourself all, uh decked out with all the best medications you can get and uh... fuck oh it won't open because it's not powered why did that one open then? doesn't make any sense so anyway all you gotta do with an EMT is keep yourself fed so you don't go slow because you'll starve and uh... just get the best medications possible uh, Nanomed Plus, this should, yeah, this releases syringes, so that's awesome. I like this server. It's a good server. I actually dropped my pen light. Why don't I go back and get that? Pen light. Yes. Did I turn it on? I did, in fact, turn it on. Awesome. We're 1% done with the, un <laughs> with the engine. Awesome. I can also pry this closed. Oh, shit. Never mind. I didn't want to do that. There it is. Wait, what? No. Shit, I think I fucked up, guys. Guys, I think I fucked up. Oh, shit. I did not want to do that, either. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, what am I doing? I pried this open. I didn't mean to. Now Medbay is open to the elements. Anthony uh, Rigatoni is going to come in here and fuck me up. Damn it. Central access. Open the fuck up. Kept his oxygen on. By accident. So we're refueling. No, Officer Beepski is stuck. I'll save you, Officer Beepski. It's okay, I saved you. Look! I saved Officer Beepski. He's probably gonna get stuck somewhere else again, the fuck. No motherfucker. What the hell are those? Who put girders in place? Uh just lost power to med bay. Oh fuck me.
That's the place I needed to be at. <sighs> Yawn. Yawning. I mean, winning. I actually mean yawning. Running around, prying doors open, waiting for somebody to scream, Medical! They resist my efforts to force it my balls. Hey, there's some dry blood there. Oh, it's a cable piece. Holy fuck! They completely ripped the fucking door off and threw it. A nuclear fission explosive. They took everything out of the freezer. No, the freezer. Why? Tom the mouse. He escaped from the vault and then was shortly killed. <sighs> oh no, what did I do? Okay, I'm fine. I think all these extra programs are fucking me up. So I'm gonna close all these. I don't even have one in there, you motherfucker. Uh, I'll close Steam. That's probably what's doing all this lag, because I never lag this fucking bad. Yeah, see, it's already getting better. What is your job, dishwasher? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Easy job being a doctor. We lost power to medical? Doesn't look like we did. Yeah, we still have a bit of power in medical. What you talking about, Willis? Oh shit, we did lose power to medical. He's stuck in there. You sound too shit, kid. My god. Our doctor is upset. Damn. Damn. Man, Jack Sayak. He's exploding on that bitch. God damn. Anthony Rigatoni, do you hear this shit talker? Anthony Rigatoni getting the shit talked on him. How could you? How do I know if this pen light's on or off? I don't know, I guess we don't. I guess we don't. Hey, there's a uh, Zubaru. <laughs> Man, Yeah, is freaking out. Yeah, I thought he was the thing, the guy, quartermaster. Mr. Longbottom, holy shit, his bottom is long. I'm a fiddler. I'm Nathaniel Fiddler. The EMT. Active. We could look at the, uh... What's going on here, and then, uh... I think since... Peter Longbottom... Bottom hasn't said anything. He might be the guy who was breaking into the place because it always says unknown when that guy talks.
<sighs> Yawn. Fucking power to medbay. Do it. Get some power to medbay. Return. Hope we have power to surgery. For what reason? You won't need surgery because I'm here. The EMT's job is to make sure people don't need surgery. Don't you know nothing? Don't you know nothing, man? Enable the med scanner? What does that do? I can't move this window. Oh. Oh! My fucking PDA comes with the medical scanner in the cartridge. That's kind of cool. That means I won't even need that shit. Well, I will, because pulling out your PDA and opening up that window is a pain in the ass. It also comes with a flashlight and an atmospheric scan. Ooh. To those pricks. Jack, please, they're doing the best that they can. Trying to walk up through that grill. Go on over, Jack. Isn't she walking around with a crowbar? How can she not get into virology unless it's an airlock? Oh, that would make sense if virology was an airlock. Well, the good news out of this whole situation is that we have a bartender. Which is awesome. Totally awesome. I wish somebody would yell for medical so I could show off what an EMT does. But no. But no. But mom. Who the fuck is that? Why is she in a suit? You can't even use that door. You have to come through right there. The newscasters are off. How dare they? Let's check out this uh, ATM. Get some crowbars. I'm an EMT. My, my mister. My mister. <laughs> my mister. My EMT. Dog. Alright, put my card in. And submit. Well, I got. 3925 change account security level to 2 since I'm doing all this on camera I gotta make sure I got my security up somebody be jacking into my account on here then we'll see they can just pause a YouTube video and look at my account steal all my monies D transaction log it was started the 5th of March wow that was a while ago and I stuck 4, four grand in I'm um, at how much did that say I'm at? Twenty-five, huh? She's got a big ass flashlight, that's for sure. Uh in addition to account number and pin. A card is required to access this account and process transactions. Hey, we got a roboticist. Awesome, we're having all the good jobs. Sweet. Click. Got my card. Oh, I just showed you how to get a uh, card out of an ATM. You just click the blue card that says it's yours. Wow, seriously. Lag. Please. Please stop, lag. I'll do anything. Like, uh, close these extra windows. Boop. Boop. I need that one open, that's my upload. And, uh, close this. I believe that was my videos. My videos. But I'm not sure. Not completely positive. Who the fuck is that? Why was he running? That's suspicious. 
So we uh, pick secure, or not security, secret. And, uh. Oh, why do I keep fucking yawning? Oh. Keep fucking yawning, yo. So, uh. We pick secret, and that means that it could be either a, uh. Extended round or auto trader, whatever auto trader is. I don't know what the difference between a trader round and an auto trader is, but uh, I think trade. I think auto trader means it'll automatically uh, just pick anybody to be the trader. We got a second internals affair agents. What? I completely mixed up the s's with the three words. It's actually internal affairs. We have a second one now? That's fucking nuts. We don't need two fucking lawyers, okay? That's not what we need right now. We need engineers. Give us engineers. Oh, great RNG. Even real life has an RNG because, you know, we need people. And these are real people. So come on, RN Jesus, give us some, give us some people, dog. Oh, if you're wondering, your video isn't frozen. Your video is not frozen. I'm just not moving because uh, there it goes, Boopski. Boopski. Is that why he had girders there? To keep power? I don't know. Some something, obviously something. How the hell is I don't know. I don't know, bro. Engineering apprentice. Awesome. RN Jesus saves the day. Waiting for somebody to yell medical. Medical. I wonder if I increase the priority of this, will it give, uh... I don't know what that would do to OBS, though, if I control all deleted. I mean, you guys wouldn't see it, but... Goddamn, if that would be the most fucked up shit. Oh, I guess our pen light is turned off. Beep. I'm a EMT dog. Click. Wonder if anybody took this PAI yet. Yeah, somebody did. Somebody took the PAI. Wish I could show that off at some point, but there's never a fucking PAI. Like ever. Like forever, never forever. Bro, don't you know nothing? PAIs, Psh, they're extinct. Ooh. Eon. I'm making all these weird noises into the microphone. Making all these weird noises. Okay, guys, I'm trying to do a tutorial here on Space Station 13. Right here, you can see it on the floor. Space Station 13. With extreme amounts of lag. My god, stop. Stop the lag. We need to make a new movement called Stop the Lag. It's where we stop fucking lagging. Why is it lagging so bad? Is it high encoding or something? OBS, tell me what's wrong. Not a single goddamn thing is wrong. What the fuck? It says there's zero drop frames, 22 FPS, which is kind of a shit FPS value, I mean. My god. Who? Arma 3, you son of a bitch. Wow, we're getting that many kilobytes a second? That kind of sucks. That actually kind of sucks. What happens if I click minimize? 
that make a difference? No, Beepski's still up there lagging. There goes Cat Lady. Excuse me, Cat Lady, who the fuck are you? It didn't say. I didn't catch her with my mouse. It's still lagging. What the fuck? My god. And the random flipped tables. He didn't even respond. He fucked right off. He's like, whatever. Fuck it. Are you Miko, the bartender, and the bat that you have in your hand? What is that? What does he have in his hand? A metal bat. What the fuck? He fucking bolted up cargo. My God, this dude. <laughs> oh my God. What's going on here? Chris? It's gonna end up popping me in the fucking head or something. I'm gonna need an advanced first aid kit ahead of time. Holy shit, she's armed and dangerous. Somebody did break into the armory. Oh dear. Why is our cop armed and dangerous? Found her out pretty quick. She's security though. got bean bags. You're not allowed to carry your shotgun outside of the place. It's considered contraband. I'm gonna go order a uh, medical hard suit while we're standing around. Yeah. Um, quest from engineering. Back to categories. Uh, medical hard suit. Why do you require this? Item. A person with a gun is dangerous to people. That would be why. <laughs> Main menu. I have a request form. Reason a person with a gun is dangerous to people. I am wonderful. <laughs> Someone grabs a surgical drill? I'm gonna grab the bone saw. My god. He's trying to disarm himself. My god. GG. Chemistry just went black. Oh shit.
Oh dear. My god, this is just dangerous. <laughs> this is just heartlessly dangerous. Who do you think is working? Fucking Anthony Rigatoni, bro. are dangerous to people. Yay, it's been ordered. Shit. Chris, he's back. Please help him. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? He like made it do a thing. What did he make it do? What the fuck did he just do to it? That was weird. He like made it do something, I don't know. I'm so tired all of a sudden. It's just recording, I guess. Just makes me tired. Makes me tired. Ew, that gnat was in my drink. Get out of there, gnat. That ain't your drink. Bro. You fucking kidding me? The shuttle was docked, but my hard suit won't get here till later. It kinda sucks, actually. Dude, he's escaping on the shuttle. Shit. I want to catch this on camera. Some dude running with the shuttle. Where are you going with the shuttle? He might be leaving. Oh, shit. It closed behind us. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. How am I supposed to... Did he order anything else in there? No. What was in those crates? What was in those crates, you motherfuckers? Hold down on me. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's shooting shotgun shells at the box. What are you doing in there? Come out with your hands up. Is that us? No. Okay, I don't want to be an accomplice to this. This crazy shit going on in here. What did he order? Metal sheets crate. Oh, okay. That's, uh, interesting. Security to the bridge. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta get out there. What is he doing? I have to get up to the bridge to save people. Chris, Chris, please.
He's not doing anything. What did he do? Um, Krihis, we have to get back outside. Sweet baby Jesus. He's blowing up the fucking box. Oh shit. Sedgerary shells, beanbag shells, slugs. My god. He won't let me out, bro. I'm gonna have to pry my ass through the wall. My god. How am I supposed to get out now? Shit. I have to go save people. And by save people I mean catch the action. Yeah. Shit, I can't reach it. Okay. Climb on top. Climb that structure. Climb that structure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out. Peace, bitches. It's harassment at the workplace. <coughs> she was asking for it. Rigatoni, you can't do this. My dad owns you. It's inevitable. <laughs> My god. Is that Rigatoni? No, that's our fucking uh, janitor. Sweet baby Jesus, the interruptions are real. Still recording? Unfortunately, that caught me running away. I had to throw down my microphone and quickly get outside. There was things going on, stuff and things of that nature, of those exact words. It was stuff and things. What the hell even happened up here? Oh god, she's fucking dead. She was killed. That was not... That's not the security guard. Guard? Wait a sec, excuse me. Bring in multiple patients. Oh shit. Advanced first aid. I have to pull this shit out. I have to get, uh... Some people healed. Shit. Time is that? Time is it now? Uh, yeah. I can
can do that. Alright. Yeah, that sounds good. You get my door on the way out. <laughs> All right. My God, the interruptions. The interruptions are real. So because of interruptions which you caught on camera you caught me talking to somebody go you I'm sure you heard her talking as well he has been healed on his chest but he has a deep burn on his head so you select the head body part and then you click them and it will heal and now he will be healed so let me take out a health analyzer from one of my med kits or whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah, this thing. Let me scan you up, bro. Uh, his head has some burn damage, but I patched that up. Uh, does she have any damage? on her? Oh, she's the bad guy anyway, so I don't think it matters. I'm the best fucking detective in all of Nanotraz. Roger that, bro. Are you hurt at all, Zeke? No. Are you hurt at all, bro? How about it, Iris? You're fine about you? Are you healing? Yeah, his burn damage is going down. Your limbs are okay or no? Probably. Uh, burn injury status, okay, okay. Pulse is up. Um, he seems to be the only person damaged. Uh, is she done? It's your partner. Uh, she's got some serious burn damage, but I can fix that with my advanced healing kit. Oh, wait. Fire first aid. I'm going to start injecting people with needles. Some Dermaline. Inject. I injected her. I'm going to inject him, too. Injected. You both just got some... Both just got dermalined, motherfuckers. It is nothing personal. That's why I dermalined you, motherfucker. Get dermalined, bitch. <laughs> I have yet to examine her, though. Um, doing my job right here. She's handcuffed. Uh, she doesn't seem to have any damage done to her, but... I don't exactly know. Please, pull out the health analyzer. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Oh god, she pushed me. What a bitch. Why are you not pulling out the health analyzer? Is there something wrong with you? Oh, because I was looking at something inside of my book bag. Uh, burn damage is going down pretty fast, actually. That dermaline will fuck heal people. I don't fucking heal people, so her damage is going down, and her head, she has an unknown substance in her blood, you know what that means? It means you need to give her some toxins. So, thankfully that guy told me that she has that, and I'll give her antitoxin, and inject it into her blood. Does it say trying to inject? Injected. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere that she has any toxin in her blood, though. So 
I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but whatever. Gave her antitoxin anyway. Uh, is she asleep or something? Nathaniel. Yo. Hold up. Give you a health analyzer. Roger that. So in order to give somebody something, you put it in your hand, right click on them, bring up this menu, and hit give. Oh my god, why is that guy naked? Somebody was naked. So he took my health analyzer, but I can get another one out of my toxins, I believe it was in. No. And it was in my fire. It had to have been, obviously. Yes. Put that on my belt. You always want to carry some extras on you. You don't have to, but you always want to. My dad owns Nano Transit. <laughs> my god. Her toxicity is going up. She has an infection. Oh god. It didn't say that she had an infection. I can do that. I can fix that. Where's my uh, space one at? He's taking her the fuck away. Where are they going? Peter Longbottom wants that bitch. We're pumping her full of syringes. I know just what to do. Give me this auto injector. Oh shit, that's right, I can't. Because I don't know. Put the auto injector in her, you fuckers. There you go to put this auto injector in her. She lied. What did she lie about? Oh, I guess she doesn't need to fix her infection. That's okay. Supernova engineer. Is that Peter Longbottom? Peter Longbottom. <laughs> I don't seem to remember her having an infection though. Oh my god, it's being all fucking examined. Yeah, she doesn't seem to have an infection anywhere, but then again, I can't see her hand. Damn it, I have to get around. I have to take off her gloves if she's wearing any in order to actually see an infection. Uh, she's not. I'm gonna rip her clothes off in front of everybody. Remove that webbing. Take that webbing off, motherfucker. And let me see what's in it. She had handcuffs and police tape and a hailer inside of her black webbing. Well, that's interesting. They forgot to remove that from her for some odd reason. Oh, that's how you take stuff off of people, by the way. You have to uh, click and drag their sprite onto yours. You just click and drag and it'll... uh It'll basically give you the option to take stuff off. Is it excellent? Yeah, that is excellent. But nobody got hit in the lungs. We don't need Dexalin. We don't need Dexalin. Shut up, fake Italian. <laughs> Anthony Rigatoni. Oh, probably gonna have to stop recording here soon. Within, uh... 15 minutes, I guess, because I have a bunch of stuff I have to do today. That was a phone call, the first interruption, and then going in for another interview for the second interruption. So I'll be decently busy for the rest of today and tomorrow. It's fucking annoying. In fact, how long have I been recording for OBS? 55 minutes. An hour of gameplay is pretty good, I'd say, guys. You know... 
can see my voice. You can see my voice in a green bar. Do, do, da, 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 I might just kill Rigatoni. <laughs> uh, stupid protocols. Fake Italian. Why did he call him a fake Italian? Because his name's Mario Capecci? My dude's name is uh, Nathaniel Fiddler. I'm not a fucking fiddler. But, yeah, I mean, an hour of gameplay, that's about, you know. Oh, and, uh, shit, let me, uh, show you. Now that the trader round's over, I mean, there's nothing really left to do here. Uh, I showed you everything. It, he gave me Hyperzine in case I had to move faster. Iron sugar supplement in case somebody's bleeding, you give them iron or sugar. Actually, you give them iron because it increases blood count and the sugars to make up for the iron making them hungry. So it's an iron sugar supplement. It's like a mix of both. You want to get that too. If somebody's bleeding out, you patch them up and then give them iron sugar supplements. But uh, when the power goes out, carry a crowbar, equip your crowbar, click a door. There's not really much else I could tell you. Um, so I mean, you know, I guess I'm gonna be SSD now, because there's nothing left to do. Uh, if you're wondering what those little, uh, bars above everybody's heads are, it's because I have a health scanner HUD. If I take it off, that'll go away. Yay! But I have it on, so I can see stuff. Yeah, I can see uh, if they're alive and healthy or what. You saw earlier the health HUD shows off the bars and stuff. Uh, I wish I could show a lot more, but I honestly have to go today. I mean, today's today's a day of days, you know. Oh, I can show you how to uh, set up suit sensors. Right click on your thing and then go straight down to tracking beacon and that will do all of these binary sensor just shows if you're alive or not vitals tracker shows if you're alive damaged or what uh, tracking beacon shows where you're at if you're alive or not and what your health status is so tracking beacon is pretty good for everything vital life signs as well as your coordinate position and if you're a trader then you can turn your suit sensors off with that. Right click, go to your suit, go to toggle suit sensors, and uh, you can just do, you know, binary sensors will report whether you're alive or dead, and, uh, you know, vital tracker, all that good shit. You can turn them off completely if you're, uh, if you're a trader, then medical won't be able to know if you're even a person on the ship or not. And in order to talk without your uh, without your voice being there, like it'll say unknown, you take your ID off and put it in a container. I don't know. I don't know how to make it say unknown, though, actually. Yeah, I don't know how to make it say unknown. I think you just have to get your ID card completely off of your body and then cover up your head with something. Cover up your head and mask and eyes. If you cover up these three slots with something, it should say that you're unknown. But I don't know. I have to log, though. So I mean it's not like it matters, I'll show you how to log. Go to file.
quit. And then it quits that. Should take you back to this, actually. It'll take you back to this. So, that was fun, wasn't it? I had a fun time. I think, I think everybody had a fun time. Who didn't have a fun time? But, uh, you know. If you did watch that, I'm glad that you, uh, wanted to know how to be an EMT in that game. Because EMT is probably my favorite job. I mean, uh, you know. There's all kinds of stuff. There's shit security. There's medicine. There's all kinds of good stuff. But EMT is nuts. You get into a round with a bunch of people, and there's traitors and shit, and they, like... They just do kind of little shit where they just stab somebody and then run away or set off a bomb and there's five people around that bomb. You have a hell of a time when you're EMT. I mean, it's just fun. You gotta run out there, make sure everybody's stabilized. EMT is honestly the best job for being a, a cultist, I think. Or maybe security is. Because warden, oh, warden's a fantastic job for being cultist because you can just stick them in the thing and security will want you to uh, take care of prisoners so basically you're just the warden and you're taking care of the prisoners and then um, you get to convert them to your cult and nobody cares because they can't see it happening they're like oh whatever he'll take care of them and then they walk away you're left alone with these prisoners so you know turn them all into cultists I really do have to go though because it's uh Wow, fuck, it's almost 12. Okay, I'll see you guys later. You have fun now. And, uh, you know, bye-bye. Have fun.